I'm Chris Watts. I'm a visual artist currently based in New York City. I love the title Love Chant, but it also kind of nods to, you know, music. You know, like I love the fact that it sounds like a jazz album. The works uh, are inspired by my recent trip to Peru. While I was there, I had the pleasure of uh, meeting uh, healers and working with shamans. Traveling and meeting other people, I think, activates me in a way because I'm always culturally curious. It always makes me consider the journey of my ancestors and make sure that I'm constantly in some other worldly way in conversation with them. These pigments are all natural pigments, um, pigments of the earth, traditionally used in a lot of their uh, ceremonial garments, and so they have a huge cultural importance in them. I started using the pigments in kind of an experimental way, really allowing their kind of magical essence of not knowing what they were gonna do. These are kind of small rituals for myself, personally. Um, just kind of mini rituals of self-love. You don't need a elaborate ceremony um, to be connected with self. Oftentimes when we think about love, we think about loving another uh, versus this importance of kind of self-love. I do work with multiple works at the same time. I very much think it's important for them to be in conversation with each other as I'm kind of problem solving, visually problem solving with colors. I've learned that these pigments kind of have a mind of their own. How they dry, how fast they dry, they are more potent and have this kind of residue effect. And I love the word residue. To think about, you know, the residue of like the spirituality or the residue of, of life or the residue of an experience being kind of left as a mark or a trace that, you know, we may not know what that mark is, but it feels very familiar. It's like a smell that reminds us of a place or a sound that reminds us of someone's voice. For me, sometimes certain colors are just a, a way in which maybe a mood that I'm in, they are charged in a way that I'm still kind of understanding. And so there's no one way at any point for where I have control or there's no one way of like working through kind of creating these spaces of meditation. They kind of happen on their own. Light has a way of kind of magically uh, shifting the colorway of these works. You have to be present for all of that or you'll kind of miss small moments of magic.